Hello guys, we were checking our channel when we realized we got 51 subscribers. We are going to go next to Jake's page to let him talk. Thank you all for 51 subscribers. I was transformed partly into a particular but now I am better. For this video we are covering Siren Head, Cartoon Cat and 3 levels of the backrooms. This is going to be a long video. Okay first off. I want to thank you all for this grand achievement. And I want to confirm that I will be in the swamp. Alright now on to the main part of the video. Okay first entity in the list is Siren Head. Siren Head is a very aggressive, monstrous and skilled predator, which makes it very dangerous. It seems to have some degree of intelligence due to using tactics such as camouflaging within forests and mimicking sounds like voices to hide from and lure its prey. Other than that, nothing much else is known about Siren Head as way of thinking. Oh, unconfirmed theories suggest it is the last of its kind and so might have a strong will to survive. It is possible that the entity developed its camouflage abilities in order to hide from even more dangerous beings. Oh, again, this is not confirmed. Siren Head is not above fooling people with their friends' voices. One sighting suggests that it also blocks out the screams of its devoured victims with other sounds, in order to prevent anyone from coming to the victim's aid. Thus, while weapons are not known to work on Siren Head, its need to conceal its attacks and generally elusive behavior imply that there may be some way of harming it, or at least interrupting its activity. Alternatively, this may be done to ensure a successful hunt by confusing and disorienting the prey, or it might be simple cruelty. Siren Head does not always consume its victims, as seen in the Siren Head video game, meaning it is possible that the entity kills for reasons other than obtaining sustenance. That was a basic description of the cryptid. Now let's go on to a more dangerous entity than even my tall long siren boy, Cartoon Cat. A large creature resembling a black and white rubber hose cartoon creature sits in an abandoned building, leering at the camera from around a door frame. The creature is similar to cartoon cat jet black, huge eyes, crooked teeth, and twiddly limbs ending in white gloved hands but its head is more dog-like or nose-like in shape. The image was captioned they are just like your favorite cartoon, suggesting this is just one one many monsters similar to cartoon cat or perhaps an alternate form. Later on August 10th, a second photograph was released, with the caption what they found in the dirt mall. The photograph was of an abandoned shopping mall with a full body view of Cartoon Cat walking towards the camera with a malicious, wide-eyed grin. This is the first image of Cartoon Cat in his more recognizable form, with a round head and pointed ears, though he has no visible tail nor feet of any kind which has legs ending in blunt points. Five days later on August 15th, a third picture was posted of the Cartoon Cat caption All the classics are coming back, featuring Cartoon Cat standing in the middle of a crossroad at night. The photo appears to be taken from inside a car, with the headlights being the only source of light shining upon Cartoon Cat, though only illuminating his arms and legs due to Cartoon Cat's height. This is the only photo thus far where Cartoon Cat has visible feet, consisting of simple ovoids with no toes, and a long, hose-like neck stretching down to the ground, which has head slithering off towards the side of the car, appearing to have either extremely dilated pupils or possibly hollow eye sockets. Okay, now that we have all the cryptids finished, let's go on to three separate levels of the back rooms. Level fun, suggested by my new Kenyan family, the Partigors, the rest are randomly chosen by me. Level fun is the most fun level in the whole backrooms. Survival difficulty. Completely safe. The best Completely level safe. in the backrooms please go this level for tons of food and to join your new family. We also have. Oh god it's happening again, we are just not going to talk about this level, sorry guys. What? Yes we are. In Discord, at least, check the description to join and learn about the safest, most comfortable place in existence, where tons of cake and cookies are located. Alright, into the next level, 
Level 7.2 is a 100 km wide marine area surrounding a seemingly infinite replica of the wreck of British passenger liner, RMS Titanic. Level 7.2 is seemingly non-Euclidean in scale, as the exterior of level 7.2 is near the exact same size as the front room's equivalent, while the interior is estimated to be at least 1 million kilometers long. Level 7.2 is differentiated from level 7 by the decreased quantity of entities and increase of salinity of the surrounding water. Level 5 is still better, but this level is fine I guess. Okay on to the final part of this video, the final level, level 78, this level is a space station, similar in design to the International Space Station, but extending for an unknown amount of distance in the four cardinal directions. There is no detectable gravity in this level. Nearly everything in this level is coated in a multitude of devices, buttons, levers and screens, but none of them seem to have any sort of power. In addition, several walls have been covered in what seems to be level zero wallpaper, loosely fitting on the many gizmos. Unlike most backrooms levels, level 78 seems to have a variety of differentiated rooms and corridors with many identifiable purposes, although all of them in a severe state of disrepair. Each one of these is separated from the others and from regular corridors by airlocks, with most of them open. Hydroponic gardens line the corridors, but the plants living there have either dried up, or are widely overgrown out of their gardens in search for nutrients. These plants do not seem to require sunlight to function, instead metabolizing the metal and cloth of the level's walls. Space lavatories are often found around dead ends within the weightless halls, and the ones in the greatest stage of disrepair. These rooms usually have floating droplets of sewage water suspended in midair and, for some strange reason, dehydrated rations. The toilets in particular seem to be prone to hiding clumps, it is advised to stay away. What has been identified, as bedrooms are the most seldom found differentiated room of level 78. These are similar to corridors, but do not have any sort of device in the wall. Instead, they are aligned with open and severely damaged sleeping bags, with the most intact ones being stuffed with shards of plastic, glass, cloth and what appear to be air. Occasionally, travelers may encounter what some call a pod bay. These are semicircular rooms with an airlock leading to the outside of the station, labeled with a green exit sign. The room itself is made out of padded yellow wall with similarly colored harnesses, with a small chance of an EVA spacesuit resting on them. All found suits have some sort of critical damage that renders them unusable, with the most common, but not exclusively to all, being a smashed helmet. The airlock has a porthole exposed to vacuum, and the airlock itself seems to be one of the few devices of the level that have any sort of power to function. Thank you all so much for watching, remember to like and subscribe. Let's get to 100 subscribers by at least 2022, comment what you want me to do next or suggestions for this channel, my discord server will be in link in the description, along with frogs, alright everyone, goodbye.